When somebody has a little office and you don't see elves around making jewelry, you know, with a loop or something, then you know that this is a middleman. He has no craft or skill of his own. What he does is he'll say, listen, I'll get somebody to get a diamond for you. I'll come and I'll show it to you. He jacks up the diamond that he's getting from person A because he's making a sale. You should know that. Mm. I mean, you don't have to be a genius to figure that out. So I assume he put you together with somebody with a diamond. He showed me, he pulled up some websites where he showed me some diamonds from some wholesalers. And then he called on the phone a person we picked out a diamond that I liked. He said, okay, let me reserve that with the wholesaler. <laughs> I got it. That's exactly what I said. Don't look at me wide-eyed. He called somebody. You think that he paid the same price that he charged? No. No, That the guy gave him something because he's the middleman. That's how he makes his money. Yes, exactly. Okay. So he reserved the stone. Correct. Did you get a GIA on the stone? I didn't know to, you You didn't know from a GIA. Well, the stone was GIA certified. He would be getting that. Just a second. He didn't know from GIA certified. Do you happen to... Yes, yeah, he did. Did you, did you give him a GIA I certification? All that yes. He explained the GIA certification. He did not give me a certificate. Did you see the GIA certification on this stone? It lists color, cut, fluorescence. Did you see any of that? Yes, I saw the picture, the representation of the, the stone on the website that he showed me. I didn't know that was a GIA certificate, but that's what I saw on the website. Do you have a copy of that? I'd like to I, see it. Do you have never a copy of that? Me. I'd like to see it. No. Do you have a... Why not? The GIA gets delivered when no, the no, no. gets delivered. No, no, no. The copy of the stone. I mean, you have a counterclaim. You want me to entertain it. So I want to see what you showed him. That would have been on my laptop. I would have showed him. Showed him the stone and the GIA. That would go with I the stone. I don't know that. And the diamonds I are... I don't know that. The diamonds have laser inscriptions on the edge, which is called the girdle, yeah, of under, the serial number under, that under, matches up with the I, GIA. I, 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 I just want to see it. Right. I want to see it. So the answer is you don't have it. Not with me here, no. Okay. So you picked out a stone, and then you picked out a setting? I had given him a general idea of what Emily wanted for a, a band. It was which very is basic. What? It's a, a white gold band. At the time, it was six prongs, and he said he was going to uh, get a craftsman to put that together. I would like to see... Could somebody show me what the ring looks like? Sure. Or show me the ring. You have the ring. Do you have the ring, sir? No, we stopped Where? production. When he, when he sued, he stopped production. Just a production. second. Well, then why are you suing for a restocking fee? Because... Uh, 30 restocking fee if you stop production. What does that mean, you stop production? Well, it's... Uh, it's it's more involved than the restocking. No, it's thing. very. It's not involved. It's sure not involved it at all. If you want to restock something, which m- means you have the product and you want to restock it, that's what you're suing for: the thirty percent restocking fee. But if Correct. you don't have the ring, then you can't restock it. Your Honor, and can if, I speak you... to this? He was. He was. What he told me is, I will get you the designs for the ring, and then I want to see what the recall in my native tongue, the mitzia, is the big deal the big deal <laughs> about what this setting was. I have an invoice that describes a, a six, it. Fine. It describes it as an open shoulder. No, no, no. I can read. 